don't think this one has an attract mode. Of all the things for me to check, I didn't check that. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, it's, it's time for Mega Man Battle Network. Uh, number one. There's not a number on this because you don't number number one on games. Unless you're... Who would do that? Did Xenosaga 1 come out of Xenosaga 1? I feel like that's a game that would come out with a number. But like... Anyway, anyway, I'm here, and I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... <laughs> oh, oh. Ah. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, a little air down there would have been appreciated, thanks. Okay, yeah, 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 no, 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 I, I'll... We'll fix up the green room later. I... I <laughs> it, it hasn't been used in a while. But yes, hello. So, uh, v is with me, so that means... Servot66 is joining on the, on our, our uh, adventure. Yeah, Servot66, a.k.a. Pefty, if you want. Uh, yep. He'll be your Tonkatsu DJ this afternoon. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, so, so yeah. Um, we're going to be going through uh, Battle Network 1, uh, which is a little rough around the edges, but we'll, you know, we'll smooth those out. Oh my goodness, I forgot how quick these came out, too. So, but yeah, anyway. This is both an introduction to the series and also just, like, an appraisal of its history. Um, we're going to be seeing a lot of growing pains in Battle Network 1. Yeah, looking forward to this for I know, I've been, like, trying to find a good time to do this for such a long time, and here we are. Um, uh, as a quick uh, overview on it, I love these games to death and I've played them quite a few times. Vipers, I don't think you've played any of these? I've never played any of these. Osmosis has done all the heavy lifting for me. Okay. Okay. Well. Let's, let's get right on in. Uh, so we got a little bit of a uh, co-op system going on because Battle Network already is a co-op <laughs> game in essence. Because we have two player characters, uh, the kid here, Lan, and his uh, trusty partner, MegaMan.exe. So, in the spirit of things, I am going to be the Lan to Slyo's Mega Man. Yeah. I will be handling the deck building and chip distribution, and he's going to be dealing with the nitty gritty in the internet. Yep. WWW crime on the rise. It says that the WWW, it's World 3 is how you actually pronounce that, but we don't know that yet. Um, plan to control the debt might be starting. I, so I love this series for, like, how the internet is in it. Uh, all right. Yeah, I, what I know is that specifically it is an alternate version of the timeline where Dr. Light didn't get a degree in robotics, but instead the world shifted into, like, software development and the, uh, yeah. progress of the internet. We'll get more details on that as we go through and meet our, our full cast. Um, but right now, we gotta get dressed for school. Um, we are a, a, um, we're a cool kid, so you can see that our shoes have roller, you know, roller skates on them. So that was kind of a phase for, like, a bit during the early 2000s, I mean, where you had, like, the, uh, shoes, the tennis shoes with, like, the rollers in them. Yeah, I mean, you, you were the coolest if you had them, and, like, nobody could catch you. Skating boards for cool kids only, yeah. Mega Man Online with digital objects, indeed. Ah, we had, we had some test answers here. We can't go back to bed. Um, secret tools are hidden here. We have this poster... Uh, yeah, it's the, like the uh, concept art for Mega Man Legends 2. That's yeah, the trailer shot. Yeah, it's the trailer shot with uh, on the, um, uh, the cold planet uh, at the beginning of the game. Did they ever make shoes with the wheels in line? Yeah. Um, but we just have the wheels. I, whenever I think of these, I think of Shadow. But Shadow doesn't like have them. Anyway. Shadow has the jet skates. Just yeah. like, we anyway, don't have the jet part. We got our pet. And we got AI navigation program. Mega Man.exe. There's Mega Man right there. 
so. Uh, we have a... We have a what the hell am I doing button at all times. And we can be swimming emails. Gun C. This is the biggie. This is like the thing that everybody loves about this game. It is a secretly half of a deck building game. Yeah, so right now we only have a, you know, a little bit here to work with, but um, we'll, we'll get a t tutorial in school on how to how to bust viruses. You can see so many of these viruses, I mean, so many of these uh, chips here have a met getting shot at. It's, it's kind of sad, but... Watch out for the hole, please. Never this is also a uh, problem that the Battle Network series has had to deal with constantly, which is a uh, space constraint on the GBA mm -hmm. for descriptions. So PET is short for personal terminal, I believe. Uh, personal electronic terminal sounds right. Yeah. yeah. Yes, that, that, that yes. Vipers is over there in the corner. Hi, that's me. <laughs> yeah, then you have your net navvy, who is your net navigator, who... Oh. Okay, fine, we can't jack in until after school. Fine, whatever. Ooh, our, our carpet has these little fuzzies on it. Megaman.exe. Yeah, what are they, actually? Oh, they look like little... Little somethings. All right, we got... Dog, no. Dog, no. <laughs> I love this era of Mega Man <laughs> games where, like, they have the weird, extremely low res gifts on TV. And this TV, which is a flat screen wall mounted TV in the year 2000. In the early 2000s, yes. Yeah. All the electronics. We got some toast and egg. Yum. <laughs> There's stuff all over the place for you to find, by the way, in this game. It's great. Why was there a chip under the I'll put it there. Anyway. This is the equivalent of uh, slowly coaxing down your kids from believing that the two fairy is real in this world. Alright, so one of the other things about this game is that we have a lot of silly character names, much like in uh, Mega Man itself. Uh, Glam being local area network. We're going to be Glam's uh, friend Mail. something. Yep, so, time to head to school. Uh, oh no, the oven accidents. People's ovens have been spitting fire all of a sudden. Yeah, this is the other thing, too. Um, <laughs> Mega Man Battle Network's world is very much a world of Internet of Things. Which, in 2001... Uh, sounded unrealistic and stupid. One of the biggest complaints I remember, like, in the early game, so, like, when this game came out, was like, why would an oven be connected to the internet? And then... Meanwhile, we're over later, here in 2022, I'm just like, yeah, why would an internet be... <laughs> <laughs> and then we got Dex. He's not one of our friends. Um, we have Yai over here, who... It's just a character who's in Legends, too. Like... Oh, right, right, she's the quiz gal. She's the quiz gal, and her navvy is Glide. Like, she's just... Yeah. It's very strange. 
There we go. Personal terminal. Kind of like a cell phone that does a whole lot more. Yeah. You can send mail, use electronic money, and read textbooks. It almost, wow, it actually is the future. Like, you can do everything but make a phone call. <laughs> As like the real phone. What was it called? Mega Man? Dr. Yasu's Guide to Virus Busting. Right, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go around and find all sorts of little things on the side. I have a fun... I enjoy reading all the flavor text. I do appreciate that every desk has a terminal on it as well. I don't think I even had a cell phone when this game came out, neither did I when this game came out. I was, like, I might have had a flip phone at this, at this point, but... Um, okay, also, another thing about this game. I guess the important character. Is it copy-pasted small child? Could be anyone. Or is it our unique character over here? Ah. Uh, you're gonna be Mega Man against my Guts Man. Yeah. Can't call me Shrimp. Ah, dang, I wanted a net battle. That's right, he does have the Bomb Man haircut. Anyway, time for our... I, I, I think they're like elementary school kids. Like, you know, like maybe like... I think in the last game they're in sixth grade or something like that, so... Anyway, we're learning about virus busting as like a, a, a nine-year-old. Much like... Hey, yeah, uh, it doesn't say a lot of good things when your curriculum is just like... Eh, the kids can figure it out. Yeah, I love the faces on generic child. Uh, any gen you, you can, again, very easily tell generic character from a, a real main character. <laughs> Guts, man. Why you? Alright. We're gonna be busting the common virus called a metal. Alright, Jack, can you pet? Uh, so you're not now we can access the... Uh, Alright, so this is just one of your buttons on your controller. If you're ever standing by anything that has a network connection, you just hit R and jack in to the internet. And yes, they'll be saying jack in and jack out and on and off all the time. Again, okay, look at all the navvies. Hmm, who could be our main characters here? Anybody? <laughs> Anyone? Alright, here's our gameplay. Um, uh, the way this game works is that you have, like, active time movement along with selecting chips every turn. Um... And You're basically just, like, moving Mega Man around and uh, trying to dodge stuff and also shoot back and use your chips while yeah. your ATB is filling up. And once it's filled up, I can send more chip data. Yep. And this tells us about the chips. Bottom right's damage number. Bottom left is code. Uh, code is used for chip selection. The way you can choose chips is either all the same name or all the same code. Um, and if you do codes in order, you might get some sort of cool bonus. Okay, so it's a combo situation? Yeah, so if you choose all of, like, you know, if I have Cannon A and Medi, uh, Medi, like, Recover 10 A, I can pick both of those. Or if I have Cannon A and Cannon B, I can pick both Cannon A and Cannon B. Yeah. So yeah, I can use both the cannons as they're the same chip. I can hit R to get an explanation. Here it is, the explanation. Yeah, when they say depth, they mean, like, panel rate. 
range, right? Yeah, it, it'll throw directly three in front of you. And then cross gun does it look like you can see how it does on the back there. They really tried their damnedest to like be as descriptive as possible with all of this. Yeah, so. Now with the with the Mets. Yes, yes. Uh, you always have your buster. It's on the B button. Um, it's garbage. It's very bad right away. It's gonna do one damage a shot very slowly. Oh, uh, that's our health. And then we can use these ones. Yeah. All right. Oh my god! Again, look like at generic kid's face. <laughs> So, one thing to check out about the Mets. They'll kind of follow you. And then fire away. Notice also that you're, like, just zooping from panel to panel. There is no... Like, yeah, this is your movement. Yeah. Here's my buster. As you're closer, it fires quicker. Um, and then you have cannon. Up nice. top, you saw it filled up, and you hit L or R to start the next turn. Support chips. Steel's a cool one. And of course, we're going to talk about codes here. We well, you know, like, this is like, again, what, three minutes into the game? We're getting our tutorial, and this is about it. Yeah, it's not called area grab <laughs> in one, it's just steel. So it's a, a way of randomizing inter like randomizing interaction between ships. So, like you could just of. like get two S's or two A's or whatever so and you never ships know. only come in certain letters. So cannon only comes in A, B, C. Does it come in A, B, C, D, E in this game? I think it comes in like in those. Um whereas like swords are always S. Um Steel can be a couple different letters. Um, like, so certain ones are made to overlap with a couple different. So there's inbuilt synergies like this. Like, this is an intended one. But you're going to end up finding others where, like, B code, for instance, becomes really powerful because it has access to a certain type of chip. Okay. Um, yeah, so steel... So here's a fun thing we can do. So steel, you like, then this mech can't touch me. But the wide sword is three long. So we wait till our next turn, because I'm not gonna kill this mech through shots. Another thing we can do to show off that we can do it um, is we can just hit ab in this game. This changes between games what we can do. In this game, add just gives you a plus five on your next turn. Okay, so you can pass your turn in order to get more chips. Yeah. Available. In later games, you can cycle chips to draw that many plus two. So here, we can pick all of our S chips. And here, we can have fun with our friend here. We're going to put you in the corner. <laughs> All right, here's a bunch of mats again, and yeah, we're gonna add chips. I don't know if I have longsword in the, the starting deck. Let's find out. Shot is. Here's the thing. This is shot from max distance. This is shot from close distance. Like, it is possible to make shot better, but shot is always your last resort. Yeah, but, like, close up, it's actually, like, really spammable. Like this. 
But far away, it's really bad. I can just leave. Just walk away. That sucks with the bricks. The bricks. But yeah, so all you can see here is for you to really knock out there. Yeah, it's kind of like a lemon restriction. But, you know. We'll take shotgun. So shotgun is N. I think that matches with nothing else we have. Okay, we'll, we'll get... We'll be getting chips later. To actually, you know, make our deck. Unique. Anyway, after class. I hope our oven is fixed again by now. Alright, let's do it. Are you ready for, for Guts Man? Yeah, let's go. So here we are, Guts Man. Immediately goes for an instant punch on my ass. Alright, let's see. Uh, we could probably just uh, keep doing cannons. Yeah. Let's grab some more cannons. Yo, get up here. Okay, yeah, he can also break panels like this. Funnily enough, I'm immune if I'm standing here. Oh, hold on. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Come on. Come on, get in position. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. I'm completely safe now. I'm in my absolute safe square. Yeah, it kind of looks like he's just built to, like, mess with your terrain and not much else past that. Yeah, that's all... That's all our friend really has. He can punch if you get really close. There's the punch. Nice counter. Well played. Oh, we, we didn't get a... Okay, we'll have to do that later. Um... No! still be in the middle of tutorial land. I love Gutsman. Okay. <laughs> nope. I made a power up for, for Mega Man. Yeah, sorry, Google only has a 2 gig minimum space and uh, I kind of went over. <laughs> trick called jacking out. You can leave. You can just walk away. You can leave. This is ACDC town. on Mega Coin. Alright, this is Dex's house. We got we also have the subway. Wait, sorry, you lost how much on Mega Coin? Oh no. Now I'm interested. Oh my Zenny. 
Yeah, so... Can you go to the doghouse? Our security system designed to look like a doghouse. Okay, I can go to the doghouse. So this is... Here's a little prog, little program. Found the presence of doghouse roofs is the chance of burglary. I'm almost like a watchdog. How pifty are we talking? How pifty you want it? Yeah, Look at my shirt. Tell me how pifty you want it. I'll make it real for you. Met guard. Our dog has Mets. Mm. That's sad. All right, so these are a little like. You have mystery data, they can be all sorts of things. They're treasure. Yeah, you can find them everywhere. They gave us another shotgun of a different uh, code. Any other object in Jack and Institute? Please try out any object that is suspicious. So I'm guessing that, like, like you said, there are uh, specific types of uh, codified synergies, but also, like, then you have a bunch of generic chips thrown around that could be any letter. Yeah. Or, like, you actually will have, um, like, literally, um, uh, asterisk. Like, that's a, that's a chip letter. That can be used that's as anything. a wild card? Yeah, it's just better. Nice. It can be used as anything. Alright, let's see if we can get... You know, so here we can get the dual kill. And we'll get an S rank for this knockout. So your, your your busting level is a is a combination of how fast you move you you kill how many tiles you move and damage you've taken and if you kill multiple enemies at once. So the big thing is getting a, a S rank is going to get a, a, a shockwave Ooh. chip. And the shockwave chip. Ah, thank you for um, suffered. Busted, 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 busted. So here in the library we can learn about chips. So shockwave is 60, and it's that shockwave attack that Gutsman was using. So. Does it like uh, rattle the floors, or is it just like a piercing? It's a it's a wave attack. that just goes forward. Okay. But as of now, it's the most powerful attack we have. No, good. I already know about that. I'm very good at gym clubs. Oh my god, everyone's stove has got on fire. It's terrifying. Anyway, let's go and see if our, how our stove's doing. Oh. Oh good. A, a man from net safety is checking out our, our control panel to make sure that our stove doesn't start on fire. We better be sure to give him admin access. Yeah, no, this dude looks on the level. He looks extremely on the level. Please trust this man. Don't know. Anyway, we're gonna use the internet. So, you can check into objects in the world and they have their own local network. But then you have the, then you have your home page. Which, you know, this is the inside of your computer. We have the so, ball. how interconnected is the net normally? We can go to other, like, in, in one, it's just a very, very large, like, Sprawling dungeon, I think, is the best way to think of it. Like, yeah, one, yeah. Mega Man Legends love to do that too. It's one deep dungeon, and you don't even need to touch the back half of it. 
Um, in two and three, it's more of an interconnected series of smaller areas that are like, here's ACDC Town, here's Netopia, here's like all these different small networks that combine into a bigger network. Oh, you jerk. Flappy! No, you don't! Flappy. I'm kind of hoping we get that one. It's got a slow wind up, but it could be really handy if you know that yeah. the uh, boss is going to back up or something. So this area here is the one we're going to be on most of the time. This is the actual internet. And then these access points are like little additional. Oh, there's Glide. Here's Glide. There's Glide. In the eyes of that. their their you know Twitter app and then you can use their you can access their place. The thing about the internet is that in one is that every area in the major internet looks exactly like this. Which makes it a little awkward. If I remember right, the actual dungeons have a very distinct look. Yes. When we actually get into a real dungeon. Also, yeah, the GeoCities gift background. These fucking get... hypno space outlaw web 1.0 ass ease floating around there. Look at the bottom of the, the tiles all say cyber. <laughs> anyway, we don't know what this address is, so we can't go there. Take one wrong turn too many, and you end up on Saint Rock 66's homepage. <laughs> Could be any, yeah, you don't. You gotta be careful on the net. Right, we're throw a bomb. Was Pethy's background always used? <laughs> no. That is creative license. <laughs> In this stream, yes. I have not changed it. Um, shotgun is gonna be. I'm literally gonna bust down this mat with my bowstring. Think if I tap an enemy with this, they take 10. Yeah. Can't go here. Oh no. One met. Chuck him. <laughs> Goodbye. Damn, I was hoping for a chip from that, but. Oh. Soundtrack is one of my favorite things about this game. Yes, there we go. Shockwave. I want to give you a couple chips so that you've got options when we start making changes. Gotcha. Because right now, ooh, bam. All others, be gone! Mm. The WWW pin on this little skull thing. I'm sure that's not suspicious at all, let's leave. Why can no one just simply walk around and punch through the walls adjacent to a door? Well, on the internet, it's like invisible walls, so yeah. In reality, I have no idea, come on. That is literally just one layer of security. Ooh, another Met Guard. Alright. I 
I think, again, I think it's 50 50 at Mustang Ring 9. Anyway, here's the net merchant. Uh, HP, memory, and power up are like power ups for Mega Man specifically, right? Correct. So we can get a description. HP, memory is a 20 increase on HP. Uh, power up is something we can use to power up either. We actually have. Um, actually, let's. Let's go back here. Um, go to Mega Man. You have HP, uh, shot power, and charge up time, yeah? Yeah, so much like, um, you know, the uh, Legend Buster. You just don't have energy, which is like shots on screen. Yeah, where you can, like, easily see what every stat does, and all of them are important in some way. Yeah, so we get hammer, breaks cues. Um, we can buy Is cues. that shatter completely or just like fracture? Uh, if there are cubes, it will break them. We haven't seen a cube yet. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, recover 50. Again, you can see like they have different codes, so we get like cannon C to go up and recover. Um, wide sword on a different code. We have wide sword on a uh, S, but this one's on K, which might be useful with different um, chips. We're going to get. Navi chips at some point, and the way Navi chips work is that they're always coded off of the name of the Navi. Um, this gets silly sometimes because they're coded on the name of the Navi in Japan. Uh oh. So have fun with that. What one. happens? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, We're gonna see problems yeah, when don't... the name ends up being too long. Well, or like when it's changed because it's different. Oh, okay, can I... I'm gonna try it. This is gonna suck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the hit, probably, but we gotta try it. Okay, hold on. Come on. There we go. Yes! Dash B. Dash, I remember being really good. Yeah, you just forward dash. It's pretty swift. Wow. It's not piercing, but it does, like, do a whole bunch of... Okay, this is the program. Yep. That is, so can use it. Again, the internet is very wide open, and it's kind of hard to tell where you're going or what you're doing. Um, Come to think of it, like, a lot of uh, Mega Man games at the time, like, had the same sort of uh, ideas when it came to that sort of stuff. Like, obviously, Mega Man Legends, with the uh, sprawling, interconnected dungeon, for every single thing in the game. And then also just uh, stuff like uh, the buster system being very similar and like Mega Man Zero One also had a every single area be interconnected. Okay, yeah, so this year Texas PC, you know, is really cool, so we can't go further until we So we gotta go back and talk to Goliath. So basically this whole bit here is just our introduction to wandering around the internet and fighting. Uh... Yes, finally. Uh, well... Hmm. Cannon D is okay, I was hoping for C. We have... Uh, yeah, we have A, right? We have A and B in our deck currently. Um... Ooh, this would actually be kind of good. I get to be two busts at once. And if I have a cannon, I get this one. Yeah, Mega Man Battle Network's battle system is one of the most unique and robust systems. Enough that there have been a couple games made off of the... Alright, so here's Yai's house. So, this, again, I love that every character has their own, like, this is their... Geo City's webpage. There you go, spread chip. Isn't there a function where you can combine cars for a huge tech? Yes. Oh, do you have to get cannon C from the version? That's fine, we'll get enough. We'll get money soon. Yeah, 
Yeah, the other thing too is like um, something that uh, I've seen several uh, people, several artists uh, comment on with regards to personal web pages and stuff these days. We don't really see them much anymore, specifically because like it's so easy to just get on board with like the big social media outlets, especially when it comes to being pressured to uh, find exposure on those platforms. But there's also a like there's very good reason to just have your own website and dress, like try to spread um, your exposure through word of mouth and things like that, because that is the sort of thing that like can't really ever be controlled or manipulated in that way. So, I guess what I'm saying is a lot of artists are, like, getting interested in making their own web pages again. Uh, is there a limit on duplicates, or can you make your whole back to I think it's five for one chip, and you have to have 30 yes. chips. I think that's the limit. So, like, if we wanted to have five sword, five long sword, five wide sword, we haven't had a long sword yet, but it's a sword that's one longer. Wow, we still got a dash on a six of five. Was it a dash? Was it another in, dash D? In MMBN, in MMBN, the limit is ten. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna probably get a lot of facts wrong on specifically this game because I'm thinking about two, three, and six, and a lot of the things in this game are wrong. Just incorrect. You know what I they mean? They were still figuring things <laughs> out. So apologies on that, but we'll. Thank you for the correction. Uh, that's a lot of dashing. This is what I know. Uh, one is growing pains. Didn't know quite what they were doing yet. Getting the heck of feel of it. Two is better. Three is the one that everybody really likes. Four is a nosedive from which five and six never really recover, but five and six are still good. Well, can I... That's all I got. Okay, hold on. Can I... Oh, damn it. I was trying to get both of them in that wide sword. I mean, like, the, the idea of, um, one being a prototype is not, again, unique to this, this of the series. Compare no, Mega Man 1 all. to, uh, you know, are you with Zero One in, in some aspects? Oh, God, yes. Zero One, as somebody who recently played through that game, holy shit, Zero One. Cannon's good. Yeah, so we'll have to purchase Cannon C at some point to get uh, a line, but that'll be okay. Right here. Zero I'm One, the game that was so fucked up that they actually introduced a, a real and proper life system in the collection because Zero's way of doing it was much too punishing. Once you get, like, enemy attack patterns down... Oh, wow, I just got counter hit on that. Like, this one just fires, like, a little beam ahead. Once it walks on, it takes a shot. And we still get cannons. The other thing, too, is I'm probably going to be a bit nicer to Battle Network oh. 1 than I would be in a vacuum, specifically because, like... Uh, like what you said, games being prototypes, where they just try to, like, figure out what direction they want to take the idea, and, uh, like, hey, I'm glad that Mega Man 1 exists no matter how bad it is, because there's so many other games that came after it that utilized its systems in between. So, same sort of story here, where, like, future games will do these ideas better. Yeah. Like, there's a couple, a, a lot of the things that are, like, odd about one are, like, just kind of, like, small details. That's why it still works. Like, yeah. the encounter rate. Have you noticed how many times I've been in fights in here? It's been a lot. I think what I'm trying to say is, like, I wouldn't throw Battle Network 1 in the trash in a vacuum just because, like... It'd be like, well, this is dog shit. I'm just gonna throw it away and never worry about it again because then we wouldn't get Battle Network two or three or other iterations in the series. So if I if I'd come in through Guy's computer, this is where I'd leave. But I'm never mm -hmm. gonna come in through Guy's computer because, as you noticed, Guy's entryway is a giant spiral. A giant maze. spiral, yeah. Like screw that. 
Mm. Wow. Like, yeah, every time you go online, you have to walk down the spiral staircase like you're... Anyway, we have we have some decent money, about a thousand bucks now. Um, not enough to buy much of anything. Anyway, uh-oh. Hmm, shit. Anyway, here's our answer. Should we put it out with a fire extinguisher? No. We can just delete the fire by figuring out where the fire is. We're gonna check in. Ding. All right, I'm gonna stand next to this fire and just wait for you to finish busting. No pressure. Yeah. That was taking over a virus. We're the other control programs. We're not viruses. All right. All right anyway, um, anything you want to change up on this? We got some new bits. Left at this in 2001. Now they're selling internet capable ovens. Yeah, they're selling. Like, yeah. we're big on Internet of Things, and they are just as fail prone as depicted here. Yep. All right. Any changes you want to make? Um, for the moment, no. I think we're good. Like once we, once I get a uh, feel for what our synergies are like, then I can start like making more uh, calculated judgments. But as of right now, we're still like trying to get um, our deck together. And I think we're fine right now. Okay. Right, we'll see if we find some viruses in here that maybe give us some neat chips that we can... Anyway, you can put out with the ice block program. I think probably Shockwave and Dash would be uh, good to make sure it is in there. Yeah. We have... We need the... Uh, sword by ID on this. Um... So we have dash B and dash D. Right now we have some cannons in B as well. Um, if we're looking at the deck right now, L and A and S are currently our best letters. But we could obviously change that by like putting in different shockwaves. Yeah, just looking at like, just like, you, you kind of want like, all right, battle routine set. Next cube, here we go. We gotta fight the difficult. Here they are, the WWW virus. Here they are. Careful, here. this guy looks super tough. Here they are, the Here they See, funny enough, Pick Solution, this one, we had the stream planned before the collection was announced. Like, we, we this was something that was going to happen no matter what, just because, like, I was super intrigued about the series and wanted to, like, get in on it. And, of course, Slyo loves the shit out of these games, so... 400 zennies. We almost have no antivirus features. We are terrible of them. Alright, do I have a wide sword in my open? Nope, those are some... awkward-looking chips. That's fine. that repairman told us it was fixed. Like, you know, didn't fix it. I thought it was fixed. Alright. More cash in here than anybody. Alright, we do want to do a bunch of exploring because we're gonna... So, like, so we have a steel and S code. This is a steel and A code. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Finally, get an uh, S rank on this one. It's hard. Getting double kills is hard. <laughs> you have to have, like, the right chips for it. Sword B. Ooh. B is a code you, you'll see sword chips in commonly. Um, it's a good code to see them in. 
Um... No. No. Yeah. One. Oh. Net guarding. Okay. Oh, more net guards. Uh, what do those do anyway? Um, those are. Well, let's, let's go ahead and put one in the. We'll put, put one in to show off. Uh, the, the recovers aren't that useful in this game, I remember, because I think you full heal after every fight. Whereas in later games, you don't full heal after every fight. So the yeah, I was about to say, like, how squishy do you generally feel? In later games, games, you have a problem with that. Um, because again. Okay, so my guard is A, so I can take the cannon with it. Let's see if I can time this right. Nope. That'd be a bit earlier. It's a ref it's like a, a block reflect. Okay, it's really dark. Yeah, I did it a little late on that. Oh, excuse me, I'm gonna get up in your face. I do appreciate that you have chip parries. Yes. Uh, in... Fog section. Uses ice block to extinguish seven fires. Alright. So we get seven fires that we get to put out. Oh shit! That's bad. Oh jeez. Ha ha ha! I was the bad guy the whole time! It was me, the only other person in the game. I work for WWW, kid. You're pretty smart, I told you my whole plan. Oh, this, this dude's very bad. Oh, jeez. You're gonna have to join your Navi. Okay, so My man is this is another thing that I remember, just like uh, the idea of Lan also has stuff to do outside of the dungeon that will influence things that are inside the dungeon. Yes. Oh, the, the door is locked. Anyway, over here is a water gun. Yes, I believe that that, uh, that operator has a weird Scottish accent. Why does the door lock that way? Uh, and it was locked by the pro- by the virus program. Also, lo we're just totally locked in, there's nothing we can do, we can- no possible way for us to leave the house, right from here. Nope. No possible exit. Anyway. Those windows are made of advanced fiber glass. That's a water gun, made. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> You hear water gun, you think, oh, it's a kid with, like, a tiny little pew pew. But no, that was, like, a super, that was soaker, a super soaker. Super soaker X, XL with four chambers and, like, you know, and a wide fire. Anyway, if you put out the fire in real life, that actually puts out the fire in the cyber world, too. If you die in real life, you die in the Matrix. That's God. basically how it works. Anyway, so we can put out seven fires. So we only want to put out the ones that are important. Uh, we can reset it by going back to the, the control program and, you know, turning it back on. Um, but then the fire, like, comes back. Oh, too bomb. Good. Did Tony use water on an electrical fire? Yeah. What are you talking about? He used water data to extinguish the fire data. Alright. 
So, you know, you gotta be kind of, like, selective on what, you know, you don't want to put out multiple in the same row, but you also want to be able to access all the goodies in the area. Treasure for safety in the <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I made a braver stuff. I'll gladly step through 50 fires in order to get that treasure. Battle lists of things that contain the same letter or are duplicates of each other. Well, I can create, put anything in my chip, in my in my folder. Like, you know, even if it's like a, a chip Q up here. I don't know anything else on a Q, so I can put this Q in here. But if I select the chip, I can only ever select Q with other Q chips. By the way, shotgun, uh, not shotgun, um... Is left, no, that three. We get the purple. A little bomb tea. Okay, this gets us to the end. That's fine. I mean, boss should be anyone. One of the funnest things about uh, this series is getting to see the kind of restyling of Robot Masters. Yeah, all the Robot Masters have wildly different designs. So, Mr. Match, and uh, this is the operator, and there's Fireman. Go. Fireman. He jumps around. Do you do like a fire burst like that? Hit him with a chip. Hit him with chips. He becomes invincible for a short period. Boss music's cool too. Yeah. Um. Busters won't. Wait, right, here's a different move. He's with the fire rings. I love how much terrain manipulation this game goes for, even right out of the gate. You also have like this sort of like counter timing on your um, hits. You notice how a chip hit will stun. Yeah. Like, so I can knock him out of, like, with a big hit. That was a, that one was just a tiny one. But, like, a cannon would knock, would have a knockback there. Bomb might be a little hard to use, but we'll try. Ooh, that was the chase. There. I feel like bombs might also be, like, good, considering that he just has a lot of wind-up before he does his, uh, line attack. Yeah. Sword, sword's a good hit. Wide sword for the finisher. Nice job. So, busting level two, that generally boss fights are always gonna, like, with, at the time you encounter them, you're not gonna get a good busting level. That's fine. Um, I 
finish my mission. What do you mean? Ha ha ha. I found the program we need for our plan inside the oven in your house. Wait, inside the oven in your house specifically? Yes. Okay. I probably should have said that. Who cares? Anyway, that's it. That's the first dungeon in our first encounter. It took like 10 minutes to get there and then like, you just gotta keep going. And now we're fighting WWW. You can't just say that. Nobody's gonna know you said that, Lamb. So, the dungeon's still here, we can, like, you know, continue through it, and, like, if there was other, you know, stuff we missed, we can pick that up. Um. But you can also, like, any, at any dungeon at any time, you can just hard to leave. So. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I think there was one last uh, bit in the back I didn't grab. So while it's not on fire, we're gonna run through quick. Damn it! It does like, sound like power-ups. Oh, go ahead. Ew. No, what were you saying? I was saying that it looks like powering up your buster is substantial, just because, like, if you're doing one unit a, a pop, but, like, you can just mash it out, Yes. you effectively double your power with each one. Yep. I wonder if I can go fight Dex now. Alright, so take a look at Dex's place. The latest in game machines. You can jack into the game. Jack into the GameCube! Yeah, here we go, into the GameCube! Now, that is absolutely the line that they would use in early 90s advertising. Whoa. Jack into the GameCube! And then you, like, fly into it. Game sure get better and better. It sure keeps me working. Again, here's a little bit about these. These are all the exact same layout. This little square with the different colors with a really different background. Oh no, Flappy. Um, See advanced Matt Tools gimmick. They're faster. Boys Dog, they are around for the host. Welcome. Everybody, we are starting up the Mega Man Battle Network today. And I got me Priz over on the right. Hey, that's me. Yeah, um. So the spreader one? You know how we have that like shotgun and the cross gun? 
What if you just did every square? Whoa. Hey, that's evergreen. Put that shit on VG Advisor. Um, Buster Rank. Again, I, I'm familiar with two and three Buster Rankings. I know multi-kills give you plus two. I think it's movement, taking damage, time, and maybe... I don't remember if Buster usage. Anyway, uh, up there on the shelf. Oh my god, that's the <laughs> lowest res at Play Misadventures of Tron Bond poster. That is like... Like, look at that, like... One, two, three, that's like 16, less than 16 pixels. This looks like a cucumber quest. But wait, guy with the Servbot avatar, how would you be able to tell that's Miss Adventures of Tron Bond? Oh well, could have been anything. Well. Could be anything. Well. I love our little, uh... Well. And then of course we have... But Dex won't let us use his code, so I don't think he'll let us actually pass through outside of his house. Also, Dex's house has rice ball. <laughs> Ooh, oh okay. yeah. So, there we go. There's the gimmick of this map. They will hide in their hat if it's not their turn. Which I think is extremely cute. They know how to hide in their hat. <laughs> you got more parents. And I'm here for this. Dex says we can't use it, but he left the damn... He left his damn code right there on his computer. Good deal, trash fights are impossible to ask rank. Yeah, you can only get a 9 rank in most fights. Anyway, I can't fight Gutsman until later. Right also, look at this computer. This is fucking strong bad email last year. Yeah. Right here. this one. Are you still, like, shadow? Is it, like, you're still hit with, like, swords? Or is it full and with the door? Might be worth a try once we get the chance. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, so nine rank on a map tool gets us another shockwave K. And here we get recover 50, which is minimal. Pretty good. And, uh, no. That's also a ranking system problem that's in uh, Mega Man X5, where, like, both games don't really have their ranking system scale to a given stage or difficulty. Ah, hello. This toy was popular last year. They replaced the giant serve bot in Capcom headquarters with a Fey line, like, a decade ago. I'm still mad. <laughs> you heard me, Capcom. I still have your number. I'm the voice control program for this toy. Please play with it. Not, that's, that's not what I serve about. Not... This is the reason I'm going around and checking in all sorts of random bullshit. There's a yeah, lot of these random spots in the world, and, uh... 
We want to find all the upgrades. You're a jerk. I'm gonna hit you with cannons. I'm not gonna hit you with cannons. Nope. All right, fine. So basically, they want you to use chips that have adjacent damage slots. Yeah, or wait till this. Still get 100 use any for that. I wish I could talk sometimes, too. Put me down now! to the surf bot. There's only one person who's legally allowed to be mean to the surf bot. We all know this. I'll beat them up. Alright. So now we have a wide sword, so... <laughs> Goodbye. Yes, more quick. Yeah, the series uh, take on the Internet of Things has very strong <laughs> vibes similar to, like, we built the World Destroying Machine from the hit bestseller, Please Don't Build the World Destroying Machine. It, well, they have it, like, both as a good and bad in their world, or it's like, ah, isn't technology incredible? And then also, those darn World 3, you know, the WWW jerks. Also, the yeah, guy is incredibly rich. Yeah, no, it is not, has like, a, entirely starry-eyed about the Internet of Things. Has there are goods and popular yeah. toy. Oh, yeah, that is a data. Yeah. Some of these. I'm still only eight years old. I st okay, yeah, they're all mine. They're all small child. Entrance. Yup. No thanks. There's a jacket port on the telephone. There we go. I'm mad at the Judge Brinks game fast. It's fine. Alright, over here. Escape chain. None of the architecture in this world scuffs, so it's totally okay to, like, skate everywhere. <laughs> Ooh, dash and oh boy! There's Swordsman. Oh shit. <laughs> now I have your panel. Wow. Mmm, <sighs> well. I need to watch that series again. Wrong code, but. Ruby Spears Mega Man the Street Fighter cartoon. <laughs> These are very magical shows that everyone should get to experience. Oh, sweet. My shots a little bit. Oh, 
Thanks. Anyway, yeah, I think so. A thousand bucks later. Wait, there's a failed Mega Man cartoon pilot done by the Rugrats people? I have not seen that. I mean, these are ro basically roller skates. Oh, um, okay, that's everyone's house. Oh, okay. there's not. Uh, don't need. You know I believe you. You know this world is stupid enough to let that exist. Anyway, time to turn in for the day. Go to the next story bit. Several days after strange oven explosion. <laughs> Time to beat a new character. It definitely doesn't look like Otacon with a giant hair. <laughs> Fun. Well, student net crime on the rise. You <laughs> called your name at home, so you owe me one. The reasons are yet unknown. I think my favorite Ruby Spears Mega Man moment was the one where he took the shot for President Lincoln. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna hit the statue of Lincoln! <laughs> I knew you'd. <laughs> I knew you'd take the shot for Lincoln. Alright, uh. Anyway, we need a chance to kind of look, look around the entire school. Mention first. Remember virus check once a week. Yeah, like early nineties advertising is really stupid and weird, and I'll gladly laugh at it, but at the same time. I'm very glad that I don't want to give it the time of day or any platform whatsoever, because, like, God, they had some terrible ideas. They were very, very upset that they had to sell cute cartoon mascots from Japan. Here we are. We're sneaking in the back. Mr. Higsby. I collect battle chips. <laughs> Jesus, Lan. Well, I mean, like, as a kid, you don't think, like, a teacher is, like, it's hard to yeah, that's true. Like, person. you just think that the teacher goes into the closet and shuts down for the day. Right. The class. Sorry, that was my adult self. I know. Who is much, much more sympathetic to teachers these days just coming out all of a sudden. Remember all the chips. See, I'd like to do three cannons. Let all three chips flash and change to a rare chip. Hmm. I'll have to buy a cannon C and make that happen at some point.
They used to write on blackboard with this chalk stuff. Now you just check it and have your pen erase it. Have your, have your erase it. <laughs> sick. I guess Mr. Higsby's taking over. Damn. Now yeah, I'm checking the blackboard, huh? Ooh, ooh. There we go. He has to do the, 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 the move. Man. Man. Uh-oh! God, who could that be? <laughs> oh shit. The real goal of our plan to control the dance. It's the WWE re-education program. That's right, to start the war. The end game. We're going to take control of all the military and other nets. The only cure for this world is deletion. No, says random kid three. Maybe we're hiring. We have great benefits, and the pay is fine. Also, you don't die during the end game. <laughs> ah! And, again, so, this game moves at a blistering pace. We're in, we're in part two here. Um, and we've probably taken, like, literally, like, twice as long as we've needed to in this. We probably gonna finish this one in this time. But the game just moves at a pace that's like, okay, you walk into the school, you get a letter that says student crime is on the rise, and three seconds later you're in a re-education program where all the students are being re-educated and turned into criminals. Also the door's locked. Good fucking lord. Terror. Pretty scary stuff. Bizarre. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> well. Rip Guts, man. His ass was defeated. Yeah. Don't worry, he has a backup of Guts Man at home. Yeah, let's talk to Jaren Kid. No, the door is locked. Sorry, I've talked to everybody. Play a lot of rhythm doing this dance when you're not seeing him off screen. God, I can't believe they've discovered my dirty secret. Same but me, also. Y'all are lucky I don't oh. have that gift finished, by the way. There we go. So just talking Ooh, to me. This one's the uh, drain, isn't it? Yes. Uh, so, as we have a Mega Man, we also have Roll. There's Roll.exe. Um. That's, that's Mills, uh, and then Abby. Uh, this chip's pretty good. We should probably put it in the deck. Uh, uh again, yeah, absolutely. Any, any changes, again, at this point, we're not gonna have access to a shop for a little longer, so if you want to make any changes, now's a good time to do so. Yeah, uh... Also, we can see sort, what we got here. Um, we can sort by code. Definitely want to put, uh, Quakes in there. Okay. And, uh, roll. Okay, Quakes and roll. Anything you think hasn't been pulled its weight? Uh, probably get out some more recovery stuff because, like, roll's probably going to be the only recovery we'll need, and those tens are like nothing. Yeah. So from there, we would want some uh, more like uh, mobility options. 
Invis, definitely. Like, I think a lot of the stuff that we've been getting so far that isn't, like, additions to what we already had is just, like, uh, individual stuff that we haven't been able to uh, get to sub yet, but are really still good. There's some quakes. Yes. Guards. Uh, probably Dash and Shockwave, and I think that'll do it. Okay, so... We also haven't tried a uh, Little Bomb yet. I do want to see what that does. Ooh, let's put a Little Bomb in. That can go in over... Mini Bomb, because we only have... We have four of those, so... Yeah, let's go Mini Bomb. Oh, I think I can... In later games, you don't recover between fights. That's why you do. Um... Alright. I'm feeling pretty confident about this one. Now we got some, now we got some upgrades. And anyone running around with a Mega Man M chip? That would not exist in this game. The Mega Man chip would be code R. <laughs> but you could have somebody running around. You, you, we could give people the Mega Man chip, you know. Oh, this place is using the main theme in the back for its background song. Anyway, hey, Glide. Someone hacked into the server in the teacher's lounge. Yeah, made things very good. Alright, um, well, let's make our way through and here we go. frame on that bed. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I love watching the f different frames. Okay, we're going over here, get ourselves. Okay, Shockwave L. That's a new code for it. The roll has a heavy chip will freeze time. She's also like nearest target, right? Yes. Buy some power ups at some point. Yeah. Or find them. They exist in the world, you know. Oh, right. How good is uh, Cannon A with our set right now? You said we're looking for C specifically? Well, C will let us do uh, a combo. So, you know how, um, yeah, I said, like, using three cannons, like, change to a big chip? A, B, C, D. Gotcha. Yeah, so you, you want to use three in. in Succession letter lines. That also can work with other chips that also have successive letters. Um, so we have to be on the lookout for those. Yeah. One quick. Yeah, three fl flush or three straight is, is a good way of putting it. You're looking for three different chips of the same code, or three chips of the same name, but no, like in sequential numbers or letters. Let me hit somebody with this. 
<laughs> nice. The mix up. Got you with a 50 50. Do they count the one the teacher's desk? Frogs looking at it. So hard. I got one of them. I'm trying so hard to get both with the kill. Come on. Nice try! I think we could probably brute force these being a, you know, AI in a much shorter period if it's just a two digit password. Maybe it locks after so many uses. Please do. You have a couple A's. The steel A. That's true. You think this universe has security? The only security this universe has is that bad. Everybody depends on net navies for the further security. Oh, we got a second invis eye. Ooh, I want to find the first one and use that. So invis should be complete immunity, except for... Oh! There's a little bomb. Let's use invis here quick. So I'm immune. I'm just... Yeah, so for about that entire ATV, I was immune. Nice. Quake just deletes that panel. It's effectively that bomb, but uh, way more powerful. Yeah, it's a uh, three-panel range, right? Yeah, it's the same, like, firing, you know, like... It fires straight ahead, like, three panels. Future. Come on. Try me. Hey, we have more quakes. Oh, I think we already have an H2. Ooh, nice. I oh, know all the programs have been wiped out. Anyway, let's move on. Catch is mixed up. Sea chips. 
Oh no. Blue bomb's kind of powerful. I love the twiggle. It's got a good wiggle. Yeah. <laughs> The one. original. That's right, the one and the only. Ooh, Ooh hot cannon. It's a nice big cannon. Uh, we should probably also uh, swap in all of our uh, dupe letters for better synergy. Okay. Let's actually take a look at that on our. We can, we can go by code here. So, on I, we can put in Canon and Invis. Let's look at Cody here. B can use some work in here. I really like the high in the Invisa uh, high cannon combo for what it's worth. Yeah. So let's. We probably want to just start cutting down like these shotguns. I don't know. We don't have any... Yeah, probably. Like, does cannon do more damage than shotgun? Because I feel like they're the same but different numbers. Uh, cannon's uh, forty. Crossgun's thirty. And spreader is on the same as Invis. And spreader's the better. Spreader hits everything. Ooh, that's good. Like, I'm really liking where we are on eyes. So, okay, let's we can go just like a uh, high cannon in the second and biz, then uh, we're in a very good spot. Alright, um. Then let's go. High cannon. In biz. And then a couple more. So, do chips have any interactions with uh, their strict upgrades? No. Um, it, it, uh. Generally not. Um, I guess with sword, that's not technically true because wide sword and long sword are better than sword, but there's one. So. But yeah, alright. So now we got those eyes. We'll, we'll try to find more stuff on eye. Trying to think one sort of navvies we're gonna be able to find on those codes. Oh, right, because shotgun is supposed to hit two targets, but that basically never pans out. Yeah. Right, come on. Anybody at the front? Okay. Good. Meet me at the front two panels who, if you want an ass kicking. You mean, let's go. Alright. Heading on up. See, so we can take the cannon, but not the high cannon. So I'm guessing that um, all of these work on exhaust in battle. You like the... Like a Slay the Spire exhaust. Yes, like, yeah. Just Once you in. use a chip, they're gone. They're, they're gone. Oh, actually, a little... Hold on. There we go. A little bomb gets the job done there. Thank goodness. Hey, bud. More parries unlocked. I control the library, but clone did. I was badly damaged. Alright, anyway. Library data locked for data preparation. Number of volumes of history of the world. Well, there's only part one, so. 
right? I know there's word about they're making part two, but there's only a, you know, we're not there yet. It depends on whether or not they subscribe to the theory of history ending at a certain point. Mm -hmm. So they will only have the part one. No, Bruce. Okay. Yeah, you... Like, but putting a bunch of uh, cannon A's in our deck will make our deck more efficient by having a bunch of A's in the deck. It won't give us the, the, the combo, but it'll give us... This does kind of remind me that they are... Uh, uh, they have been phasing out a lot of uh, loan programs in libraries yeah. in recent years just because, like, it's just a bad way to do it. People just get really uh, upset and uh, stressed out over having to deal with, like, loans and stuff. So now libraries are trying to, like, make themselves be more of uh, community centers. Yeah. It's good stuff. Like, people who work at libraries tend to be really smart, so they're coming up with a lot of good ideas. One thing that's a really weird... No, fine. You can even find chips over there. A very strange bit with libraries is, like, electronic, like, loaning out of books, and how, like, companies get really defensive on that. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Let's go. Alright, one more door, and I think we're at the boss in the area. Here we are. That's your hint, nothing. Yeah, this is the brute force one. Passcode now it's too time to low. play high or low. Passcode too low. Guess what number I'm thinking of. Passcode too high, second digit verification failure. Passcode too high, second digit verification failure. Passcode accepted, oh wow. Thanks, security. I'm glad they literally... Uh... Yeah, that's the other cool thing. Libraries just have video games nowadays right. because video games are historical media. Oh, there's breaks in the network. Number of doors in this school. <laughs> I do love how all of the uh, puzzles are just like really stupid questions. Yeah. So there's five here. Six. Yeah, no, that's my PSA. Don't sleep on your local library. They're probably doing so much work. So there's 12 doors, not counting the, uh...
Uh, how are we doing? We're about to finish the second dungeon. Okay, we're back. Um, well, there's High Cannon. Oh, our Shredder is also I. That's yeah, nice. that's what I was saying, too. Like, we have a lot of good eye tech. Yes, the school is first graders and fifth graders. Quake A. Spreader H. Yeah, that makes it really funny that Yai considers herself so smart for skipping a grade when it turns out everyone skips two through four because it's not real. Nope. I'm gonna get you. I love the little flappy quake bird thing. They turn into a big flop. go too high. I love this. <laughs> Let's go too low. Let's go too low. Let's go too high. Let's go too low. Let's go to exempt. Like, there is a lot of uh, very do complaint about um, games wasting your time and just, like, building all sorts of contrived bullshit in order to do so, but it's still really funny. It is. Busting four on that. I guess wave doesn't technically kill them simultaneously. The hand! Oh shit, we got master hand. Alright, asshole, come on in. One stroke, certain death. <laughs> so they put down a time bomb, you have to kill before it explodes. But like... So do all pet AI chips have to be used alone? Um, we only have the one R code, so at the moment, 
roll is stuck being alone, but like, when we get more uh, Navi chips of like different. Co oh boy. That sucks. Then again, we have to do things in the real world to help Mega Man out. But yeah, um, so roll is our code. We don't have anything else on R yet. And we want to go to the AV room. We just got trounced by Higsby. He didn't lock the door, seriously? Nope. Hey, yeah, you just gotta... Navi chips usually have weird codes. The, 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 yeah. So the thing is, Navi chips, their codes are generally the first letter of their name. Uh, Japanese name. So usually, you know, that's still the same, but it, there are a couple exceptions. Um, but I like, think if we actually had a Mega Man chip, it would be code R, is what I mean. Because we'd be okay. it'd be a Rock Man chip. Like, if it was a Proto Man thing, it would be B. A, a Proto Man chip, if, if we find that, would be B. That's going too high. That's going too high. That's going too high. That's going still too high. That's going too low. I was seriously ready for them to just have it be zero. That's going to been changed first it's increased. <laughs> That's going too low. First vegetation failure. It actually does this to us after five inputs. But it only changes one of the one of the one of them so you don't lose full progress. Anyway, we want this. Ooh! Quake on A, you said. Quake on A. We already have cannons on A as well. Yeah, might as well mix it in. Like, these are actually just gonna be. These are actually a strict upgrade. Because now. Yeah, if, if we if we end up finding uh uh bass space bass space 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 space. Uh, anyway, that'd be code F. It would be F. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, but who knows if any of those characters are anywhere in this, which games they are included in. That's 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 an open-ended question. That has an answer I'm not telling you. <laughs> anyway. Oh! A free cannon C, huh? Okay, I guess we're finally in business. Alright, so we gotta cut one cannon. But now, so now, I'm gonna hold on to that cannon when we find it. Come on. So I guess if we get a higher buster rank, we get the Omni Bug. Oh my. Oh, y'all are in for it now. <laughs> y'all just didn't move. <laughs> y'all gotta move. Anyway. Welcome to Denny's. Here's somebody ordered a Grand Slam. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, you're dead. Ooh, Lil Bomb B. Oh, I think we are just replacing the one that we have. 
again, yeah, uh, th these are what we're, we call we call strict upgrades because they're usable with our existing codes. Mega Man, so here's the thing: a couple people in the chat have mentioned, mentioned this much earlier, but like Mega Man Battle Network was kind of big. It had a card game. It had 150 some episodes of an anime. Um. You know, all sorts of, like, figurines and toys and stuff. Um, it, it was a pretty big series uh, for Mega Man. As I've mentioned before, uh, for the longest time, Mega Man 2 for the NES was the best-selling Mega Man game in existence. Mega Man Battle Network 4 was number 2 on that list. Um, currently, I believe Mega Man 11 actually broke that. I believe 11 actually is now the second highest. That uh, makes sense. Uh, or close to it. Given how things have scaled up, that would make sense. Yeah. Alright, we need an ID card. And we, it's on Miss Mari, who's missing somewhere. Man, it's kind of neat we go back and forth and, like, solve tiny puzzles over here. And... So here we are in a broom closet. Big Man Bell is big enough where they can do the Pokemon thing. Yes. Other games tried to fail. I remember Bomberman tried it and failed it. Uh, Big Man Bell or 3 did have two versions. Sadly, one of them was, like, kind of better than the other, in like a... It's lonely. I would imagine that the uh, collection has amalgamated those two. No, the collection just has both copies. Whack. Yeah, the collection says it has ten games on it. it the, so the collection has all of the mainline games. It does not have Battle Chip Challenge, which let's be real, if you're missing Battle Chip Challenge, you're, you're really not... Um, but it's also missing network transmission. Uh, and is, the only bummer from that is that, like, the music's there. Yeah. I I remember enjoying bits of that, but... I have a Japanese copy of the GameCube version of Battle Network Transmission. I could not tell you how or why. It's just there. All right. Here we go. You're fine. You just be good at video. Be good. Yes, you're good. Be good. You're good. You're good. Easy. Good. Easy. Anyway, here's a neat part of Battle Network. Not every net navi is a robot master. Some of them are new for the game. Doesn't everybody love work and being a WWW slave? My new salary, I can buy lots of rare chips. I get paid. <laughs> anyway, time to face Number Man. I love Number Man. Battle routine set. Five. Okay, that's a lot of health. Um, screw this. So, you have to shoot through whichever one's the lowest. Like, you know, so you don't take the hit there. Alright, what do I got that I can use? I can use steel. Trying to set up combos right now. Yeah. Then we might as well blow the uh, high cannon then, since, you know, it's just gonna be there. Yeah, I'm gonna grab cannon A as well. Right now we're on A. Hopefully we can get another thing to combo with the high cannon. Right. So that our turn isn't a full wash. 
That's true. High cannon is also high. So we want to do down here on the two. No, I just whoops. So now I'm close up here. I can actually. I'm not close enough. We need to add again so I can get. This. I want to get another steel so I can just get swords in your face. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Does it do that much da that number of damage to you if you get hit by it? Um, I think it's just a flat 20. Mm. A lot of swords, still no. I will do shockwaves, because those are. Because shockwaves can also beat up the thing in front. Alright, here's the dice. Those are just bombs, right? There's a lot of weird. I'm gonna I'm let some of these things land here. Let's let's. So a time bomb. If you don't blow those up, you take a bunch of damage. So I don't want to. So let's let a time bomb blow. So it's a line forty. You can dodge it, but. You really just want to bust it down. They're not actually that big. Alright, dice. That's a three. So that does 30 damage. They yeah, mostly never randall and do anything, but summon in like frat. As long as you're, like, in control of the board, you're fine. Alright, here we go. Cannon A, Cannon B, Cannon C. Advance! Z, Cannon 1. Let's advance. Hey, jerk. <laughs> you just get infinite cannon for five seconds. The rules. Sadly, it's bosses. That one in particular is not super useful. Because bosses get their invincibility frames. Wow. But yeah, you're also uh, invincible during it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's true. If you use dirty money to buy chips, they're nothing. I should have believed in the heart of the cards. I should have. I should bust viruses and collect chips. All right, I'll promise to be good now. Uh, and the, all right, great. You have to pay for your crimes, so you better like do something to help people out. There's, there's no cops, there's no... The, the society's great, so, you know... Ten-year-old kids are the ones who go and deal with this shit. You know, it's Pokemon movies. Blip. <laughs> Bleep. Good job, Mega Man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> After class. The Metro Line's opening today. We're gonna go surprise Dad at Scilab. Oh, we gotta avoid getting school jacked. Alright, well.
Let's go visit our dad at work. We don't know a lot about our dad. We know that he sends us a he sent us a power up program, and also he worked on a Sunday. So, hmm, a bronze statue of the principal. Damn, electric cars too. Yep. Yeah, we've got like. We've got electric cars and, and, and public transport. And also... Do we like, ever use any of these power-up parts? Uh, we have... We've, so the HP memories just get immediately thrown on. Okay. As you see, like, up at the top, we're 160. We don't have to do those. We haven't gotten any power-ups. As we fight this bet. They can play this game a lot longer than you can. I love Zwee fighting the Met. <laughs> so Sonic Wave, much like a high cannon, this is an upgrade to our wave. It's on a different code, obviously, but. I'm the accelerator program. I make the car go faster. Over there is the brake program. Without him, this car wouldn't stop. I'm the brake program. I make the car stop. Over there is the accelerator program. Without him, the car wouldn't move. Oh, what do we got in the background here? Some sort of strange machine. Well, you got uh -oh. refunded on your panels, at least. We have an incoming, uh... Right, guard. Yeah, when we go to get, see Dad, we'll get our first actual power-up program. And that one, we can decide where it goes. A huge rabbit. Yeah, so I think uh, somebody mentioned a little bit earlier about uh, how One Step from Eden took uh, a lot of inspiration from the Battle Network series. And yes. uh, I think the big add on to that is that One Step from Eden is also like for people who got like way way deep into the intricacies of the battle network series and just want to be thrown in the deep end right away there's a landslide and we can't run there's a giant frog don't ever feed me glass yeah like there's a uh, right now there's um Battle Network 6 actually has, like, a, a small eSports scene. Um, it's uh, So it's the most realized version of that whole system? With rollback? Okay, it is the most realized <laughs> version of that system. Let's fucking go. Yeah. All right, all right, right. 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 Um, 6 and 3 are the two that are, like, decidedly the most realized that, that have, like, a scene. Um, but, yeah, 6 has, a, like, a... A player versus player scene because you can do that on these games. You can just like go ahead and like battle. Like right here, this is our. You can play for anti. <laughs> Test and real. <laughs> Ow, out of zero. That applies to multiplayer. Yes. Um. So one of the coolest things about this game, and I I really enjoyed the hell out of this. You could play. You could net battle against your friends, and you would net battle on the same rule set. You know, um, whatever the turn. You know, like when, at, whenever someone you know starts the turn, both players go into the chip, um, like into the chip selection, and you're you're playing on the same three by three grid. So.
Oh no! Somebody broke in through the net. Uh oh. So. Anyway, um. Guess we'll check it out. Here's Mario and Luigi on the train. Or like. You'll get a load of that dog. Or like maybe it's Luigi and like Frisk. I'm not really sure. But that's more of a Frisk. Like, yo, get a load of that dog. That's a very high def dog. Milk. Milk. But yeah, so. As a. Ah, we got mail. The dairy Finally. lobby was at the peak of their power around this time, so that's. Finally! Sense. Yeah, so we can go onto the, the net and look for stuff, or... Don't we already have his link? Yeah, but I want to bet get his chips, too. That's fair. So you lose Guts Man does not fall on taking a hit. We got double V code here. That's the Mega Punch one, right? I'm remembering my program advances right. I guess. Cool. Anyway. Eat it. Dex, this is Dash Dex. This gives us access to go on the internet past his li his link. Oh, okay. And Guts Man G. <laughs> anyway, now Dex is like our best buddy forever. So here's Guts Man. Uh, it only does 40 damage, but it's, like, literally the whole map, I'm pretty sure. It cracks every panel in front of him. Yeah, 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 you're paying it back if you have a particularly mobile enemy. Yeah. Sadly, we don't have a lot of Gs right now. Still probably put it in here. that shop and see if we can't buy some cool things. Oh. Dog no. Dog no. But then that'll probably be a good place to call it for the night. Yeah, we got a lot of progress done. Yeah. Made it through two of the scenario bits. The next one, we're kind of making our way high. Here we go. It's time. Oh, oh not, not here yet. Sorry, I'll be all later. It's a different area. Um, bomb. Will they replace the GameCube with something else in the re release? Hmm. That's a good question. It's really weird in this game to see a blue 
pick up there. There are a lot of rules to like what isn't it, what isn't isn't a pickup. Blue pickups are one time in later games, and green pickups respawn. So seeing a blue pickup that respawns is kind of funky. Interesting. All right, um, is this one? Nope. One of these dead ends has it, right? You can't go through there. Fight cannon with cannon. Yeah, I did see that they got a new font size. I think it's that one down there. I think that's where I want to go. All right, let's save. I think it's this. Yeah, now we're talking. So once you beat a net navy, uh, a boss net navy, they exist out on the internet for you to refight. Okay. And then after that, they exist in that area as like a random battle um, of like their V2 like upgrades. So we're going to cut you off as much area as possible. So basically you want to keep your escape ships at all time, on at all times. Or just be ready to kick some ass. Alright, some fire there. Use some more swords. So this was the tracking fire, I think that was pretty cool. Nice try, Jerk. Nice try, Jerk. Right, my Brave Blade chip will be weaker if I run. Yeah, who gives a shit? <laughs> Everybody knows the chicken knife chip is the better weapon because it uses agility and attack. It's true. Duh. at 80 and I've got infinite cannons. So yeah, program advances are a thing throughout all the, the games. Anyway, for busting Fireman, one thing you'll notice, busting rules against not navvies are different. You have okay. a lot more leeway to get an S rank. We got a 7 on a 49 second fight. In a normal fight, that'd be like a 3. Tricking the heavy ghost and gone to the counter table early isn't too catch up in this game because none of the bosses are that bad. But, yeah. So now that I've beaten Fireman, Fireman will exist as a random battle in the area and we can get more copies of his chip. Which. His chip is actually uh, pretty cool. Oh, it's, does it do the uh, fire tiles as well? It, it just does the um, the the straight line shot move that he has, the Hadoken. Um, but it's a hundred freaking damage on a line, so yeah. you're pretty happy with that outcome. Anyway. As I mentioned, he has 500 HP. <laughs> they all, yeah. This it, is the V3. Yeah. So the, yeah, we're standing on um, the panels we're standing on. They're a folder, and on the top right, there's minimize, maximize, and, and close. All right. Hey, jerk. Hey, jerk. <laughs> Cut that out. Uh, okay, whatever. I'll, I'll take two. And it's gonna be putting the. So you'll notice our foe is a little faster on 
usage here. That's just part of, you know, being on... Ooh, let's just become invisible for a while. Swords just feel awkward in general to use against fire mana unless you are also using Viz. Okay, so with Viz, I can just stand right here. Who cares? <laughs> Get fucked, dummy. You think I wasn't ready for this? <laughs> Oh, buddy. Oh, no, that's not gonna work, because I'm, uh... That's fine. I'll take that hit. Alright, we'll move in with the sword. There we go. I think it took nice. one hit, and that was, about 40 seconds. No, oh, that was much longer. Never mind. Not gonna, you want to get, like, a busting rank 7 or higher, I think? Anyway. Alright. What are you spending our money on? What are, uh, what are we buying here? Probably gonna get a power-up. Alright, so let's grab this power-up. Anyway, that puts another power-up behind it, just like Legends. <laughs> yeah. Same, um, with, same with the HP mems, they'll, they'll do the same. Probably don't need HP mems right now. Um, I'm interested in at least one spreader eye. Just another one for the road. Okay. What else we can add? Then, uh, what else we got? We got hammer and cannon and recover. The hammer's on a good good code, it's on A. And cannon's on C, which is one we need for a little more comboing if we're doing, if we're doing comboing. I think we'll be fine right now because we do have at least one cannon C to combo with, and I'm sure that we'll get more as we go. So what I'm thinking is probably hammer A and then one more power. Okay. And then... But yeah, you need to... Yeah, as, as uh, Berlin says, so the V2 ghost is the one we fought in the corner. That was the one that's in the spot. Um, that one, you automatically get the Navi chip for Mark 1. And then the roaming one is the V3. That one drops the V2 and V3 chips based on your busting level. So, you have to beat them in under 30 seconds without taking a hit to get the V3 chip. Okay, there's another power-up behind. Want to grab an HP memory for the road at that chip? At that cheap? Yeah, probably. We'll get more money. Uh, next one's a thousand. So remember to use your power-ups. And armor. We don't have any armor. Okay, so probably just gonna go into attack for yeah, the most I, part. Yeah, I think we need to have one in charge for charge to be an option. Okay, if that's the case, then let's go ahead and do I that. I think one that's how it works. If 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 somebody want, wants to back me up on how that is in this game specific. I think you need one point in charge for charge to be optional. And then from there, that's fine. You just, you don't, it's just the speed of the charge. And rapid is obviously how fast you attack. So we're gonna it does seem a little weird since they give you a point in charge to start. Yeah, so okay, yeah, they say yes, so. That's what I thought in this one. So now we have 180 health. And let's, uh, let's find ourselves a virus to bust. <laughs> so here's our charge. I believe charge is... Um, I think it's times 20, or times 10 and times 20? With how much it take, with how much time it takes to charge it, then yeah, I believe that. You know. Okay. 
and I'll just, like... Oh, 16, so times 8. And time... Okay. So there's the numbers. Times 8 and times 16. I'm just taking note of how often we're using the buster, just to, uh, like, have cover fire or trying to, like, close the deal on something, and so I think that it's definitely worth our while to keep that up upgraded. Yep. Yeah. So if we get dealt a bad hand, then uh, we have a good backup option. save here. Next time we'll go fix up the metro and head over to, to our dad and pick up another power up for us. Yeah, the more realize your folder comes, the less you end up using the buster. The buster is your backup, and by the time it is, like, max power, it is actually a realistic weapon. You know, five, well, just that five with max rapid, you know? It, yeah, it's pretty fast, but... Anyway, yeah, so that's gonna be... Big Man Battle Network for today. We're going to be doing this uh, much like Shadow Hearts. This is going to be every other weekend to fit in with scheduling, so... Yeah, uh, we're trying to, like, yep. do that stuff on the side. It's a little weird, so bear with us, but uh, that is the plan. Yep, so thank you all for joining. Thank you, v Frizz, and thanks, Pefty, for, for <laughs> joining <laughs> in. Thank you for uh, accommodating, Pefty. Yeah. Glad they can make it for today. Um, so yeah, um, as far as stream stuff, tomorrow um, we're finishing Shadow Hearts, right? Yes, that's so, the idea. That'll be over. This is kind of going to be like our project, go our next project right now. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, I love. I do also love this series so much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's Pepty's story? <laughs> yeah. I just wanted a VTuber avatar. Uh, Servbots are on my brand. And thus, Servbot 66 was born. We'll, we'll learn more of Servbot 66's backstory as time goes. As I try to make <laughs> things up in order to make, like meet the quota. So. Anyway, thank you all for joining. Um, yeah, and have a good night, everybody.